the Very Hungry Caterpillar, Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. But he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. But he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore either. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Today's activity, we are going to make racing paper caterpillars. So what you'll need is inch strips of paper. Mine are an inch by about eight and a half. What we'll wanna do is fold the paper piece in half and then we're gonna use that center mark and fold it in half and half. And just continue doing that until you're left with two smaller pieces and you'll fold it in on itself between that half. And that's what's gonna give our caterpillar its curve. Now how we race them is we use straws and you basically blow on the top of the caterpillar and that'll make it inch forward. I borrowed a friend and we're going to see whose caterpillar gets to this finish line stick first. It's starting to be butterfly season here. One really popular and well-known butterfly is the monarch butterfly. It has bright orange and black and white wings. Well there's also another butterfly that looks a lot like a monarch and that's called a viceroy. The way you can tell if a butterfly is a monarch or a viceroy is that viceroys have on their bottom wings a line going through them, while monarchs do not. There are a lot of different types of butterflies and moths in Missouri. How many can you find? Some of them are yellow and black and brown and white and orange like the monarch and the viceroy. Butterflies are also called pollinators. And later this week, we are going to learn about the life cycle of a plant, including pollination. So be sure and watch that later video and learn some more about how butterflies help plants grow. 